Well, I'm at the ten on the Bidwell. I'm on my way out. One of our guys put his truck in the ditch because of the ice. The road's not sanded well enough. I'm breaking down for a corner and the front end let go and he put her in. She's in there pretty good. So I'm in the old 644 John Deere. I got the hammer down, come on. What a thing to try and hang on to on a road that's rough. You get into the whoop de doos and she just starts bouncing you for a ride. It's not very fun that way. And I only got cha tire chains on the front. So, scared of the back moving around, right? So, we should see Andrew here pretty soon. Do my best to drive this old girl with one hand and give her a little video. And I don't run these loaders every day, so I'm not really used to how these friggin things steer they don't steer very very nice like a transporter or a car or something a little orbital valve on the bottom of the steering column that makes them turn so you to keep that column always moving or it's going to go one way or the other or wherever it wants to lots of fun the road looks kind of brown when you get into where anyone was using their brakes that's where you see the ice or where the trailer's been turning hard around the corners because trailers tend to drift a little bit on every turn it brings the ice out real fast we had rain a few weeks back so everything under this snowpack is clear ice just good nobody's using tire chains again so here we are we're on the Bidwell Road off Highway 11 in Martin River. A little different territory than what we normally log. Something new for us, eh? Far from home. This old girl's running good. Been in it now for, well, 12 kilometers. Cut the hammer down, tab her what? Yesterday we're playing on the YZ250, climbing hills off the lake in the snow, and today we're running around the good old John Deere. Okay, I think this is a turn where Andrew is. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna shut her down so I don't get shit. 